Hi everyone. Uh, today I figured that I would go ahead and preemptively explain our belt system. Uh, so the last video was who I am, what martial art I study, and a few facts about the martial art that I study. Um, today I thought I'd jump into a little bit of a breakdown on the belt system and time frame to get there. Uh, since that's a lot of times somebody's first question about a martial arts system. So behind me on the whiteboard, I have a few of those things written down. This is just in order to get to your black belt testing. Um, so let's go back here and talk about it. So uh, we have 10 non-black belt levels of uh, rank in Subakdo Mudaquan. Uh, Subakdo is the martial art I study. Um, so any non-black belt rank is called a gup or a goop, um, depending on the pronunciation of the area you're in. But 10th uh, gup, 9th gup, 8th gup, 7th gup, 6th gup, so on and so forth, all the way to 1st gup. Um, so 10th gup, white belt, very common belt in the martial art world, right? White belt, uh, then after that we go white belt with one stripe at 9th gup. 8th gup is orange belt. Seventh gup is orange belt with one blue stripe. So any of these stripes that we're talking about for the non-black belt levels, they're always a midnight blue stripe. Um, they're two inches away from the tip of the left side of the martial arts uh, practitioner's left side, um, two inches away from the tip of their belt. And then if there are multiple stripes, they're a half inch apart. So back to the seventh gup orange belt with one midnight blue stripe on it. Uh, sixth gup, green belt. Fifth gup, green belt with one stripe. Fourth gup, green belt with two stripes. So from white belt all the way through orange belt, there's only one stripe on that belt. When you get to green belt, it goes to two stripes in addition to the regular uh, belt color. Um, so third gup goes to red belt. Second gup, red belt with one stripe. And then first gup is red belt with two stripes. So that's the uh, 10 non-black belt ranks that we have. Um, now let's talk about the time frame required to gain those ranks. So um, these are gonna be minimum times and I've got both old requirements and new requirements. So uh, when I say minimum training time, uh, I'm gonna give you both a month time frame, as well as an hours on the mat time frame. We have two forms of required training time. One is uh, time that you're training. So I've been training for 12 years. That's not my mat time. My mat time is how many hours I've been on the mat in classes. So I'll give you uh, both the old and the new minimum time requirements for those uh, ranks. So. Let's start back at the 10th gup, white belt, no stripes. You have to train for a month and eight hours of mat time in order to test for your 9th gup, which is your white belt with one stripe on it. To go from 9th gup to 8th gup, the orange belt, you need to train for two months and you have to have mat time of 16 hours. To go from your 9th uh, gup, or sorry, from your Ninth gup to eighth gup was that. Now from eighth gup to seventh gup, orange belt with one stripe, you need to train for three months and you have to have 24 hours on the mat to test to your seventh gup. From seventh gup to sixth gup, green belt, you need three months and 24 hours of mat time. And then from your sixth gup to your fifth gup, green belt with one stripe, you again need three more months and 24 more hours of mat time. To go from your fifth gup to your fourth gup, green belt with two stripes, you need an, ad uh, an additional three months and 24 hours of mat time. To go from your fourth gup to your third gup, you need another three months, 24 hours mat time. From third gup to second gup, you need another three months, another 24 hours of mat time. In order to go from your second gup to your first gup, you need six months and 48 more hours of mat time. Then to test from your first gup to your first degree black belt or Chodon, 
in Subakdo. So Chodon actually means beginner level, um, but that's our first degree black belt. We also don't use a black belt. Uh, if you see mine, uh, it's a little faded, but it's midnight blue. So it's a very, very dark blue belt. Um, long story short, black uh, in Asian cultures, some of them, uh, it means purity, perfection, things like that. We don't believe that you can become perfect in martial arts. So uh, for our South Korean uh, martial art, we use a midnight blue color for our black belt levels. And I'll do another video on the black belt levels uh, later. But for right now, um, back to first up testing for Chodon you need an additional six months and an additional 48 hours of mat time to be eligible for that test. So if you hit the testing cycle for Chodon, which I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a moment, you'll train for a total of 33 months and 264 hours of mat time. Now, what I was just saying about if you hit the right testing cycle, that'll be your mat time or your training time and mat time. What I mean by that is all of our non-black belt tests are conducted at the dojong or dojo studio, whichever language you wanna say it in. So uh, dojong is the Korean terminology for your training area. Dojo is the Japanese, which a lot of people are very uh, used to dojo um, as the terminology, but it's just your training studio. Hey guys, so my phone died. So I'm gonna finish up the uh, video on the belt system. Different dojong, different studio. So back to what I was saying though. So if you hit the right testing cycle with your Chodon test for two degree black belt test, um, there's a little bit of a thing with that. So as I just said, um, the 10th through first gup tests are all at the dojong level, right? With your instructor at your studio. The Chodon test, the first degree black belt test, uh, and first through third actually, are all region wide. So we have a five state region. Um, we're from Texas, there's five states, one of them is Texas. All five of those states get together to do their black belt testing, first through third degree, as a region. That only happens two times a year, so it's once every six months. If you test for your first up, one month after that uh, closest dawn test, well then you have five months to wait just until the next test, but you have to wait six months. So you're gonna miss that test because you have to have six months. You'll have to wait till the next test. So that's 11 months that you have to wait. So it adds up to five months to your uh, eligibility. Um, and then on top of that, there's travel. So um, if some test is very far away and you don't think that you can do it and you wanna wait for one to be closer, you've gotta wait multiple cycles to come back. So the uh, test from first cup to Chodon can be anywhere from a minimum of six months if it's timed perfectly up to, I've seen people wait as far as three years for their uh, first cup to Chodon test. After that, the Dawn testing is all different. Um, I'll hit that more in depth on the next video. Thank you guys. Sorry for the change of scenery, um, but I'll see you next time.